One big disadvantage Canada has in the vaccine rollout is a lack of manufacturing in this country. A Canadian pharmaceutical company is hoping to change that. Providence Therapeutics has begun phase one of human trials of its vaccine candidate. If it passes all the necessary clinical trials and gets approved for use, the company hopes to produce it in Calgary. Heather Urex West reports on the Canadian-made vaccine candidate. Two Canadian companies are hoping this 20,000 square foot facility in Calgary will be manufacturing COVID-19 vaccine by early next year. Having that capacity in Canada is is truly important and uh, for national security and for economic well-being. The mRNA vaccine developed by Providence Therapeutics has just started phase one human trials. The company's CEO Brad Sorensen hopes to begin phase two by May. We've got a lot of planning and, and collaboration that we have to do with Health Canada for our phase two and phase three. And we also expect that there'll be an international component to that phase three trial. Right now, Canada simply does not have capacity to produce the millions of doses needed to protect Canadians from the new coronavirus. The Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna vaccines are all produced in other countries. It's why Providence decided to partner with Calgary-based Northern RNA to build manufacturing infrastructure too. Our phase one is we're actually going to be manufacturing some of the components of the vaccine. Uh, phase two, when we do an expansion of our facility or actually a restructuring of our facility, which is now going to be much faster than we had previously thought, uh, that's when we're actually going to be manufacturing the vaccine. Still, even if clinical trials go well, the earliest the Providence vaccine could be ready for final Health Canada approval is next year. Here's the fundamental problem. Get approval for a vaccine, you have to go through phase three trials. And those trials typically enroll some 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 patients. Are you going to find volunteers in those numbers who are willing to try an untested, unproven, unknown vaccine if it means that they must sacrifice getting Pfizer's or Moderna's or somebody else's? But as new variants of the virus emerge, Sorensen believes the demand for new versions of the COVID-19 vaccine will continue for years to come. And a domestic manufacturing source could ensure Canada always has access to supply. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.